हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ अवर लास्ट चैप्टर व्हिच इज द डिजाइन ऑफ वाटर टैंक सो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट अवर मेन थ्री थ्री थियरीज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू ऑल नो दैट इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव टू यूज अवर आईएएस 3370 पार्ट 2 2009 सो so, 2009 is the year in which this code has to be published okay so students in this chapter we are discussing about first theory which is the types of water tank so our first theory is types of water tank so you all know that there are three types of water tank based on their locations so first one is underground water tank so the shape of underground water tank is generally rectangle or it is circular second one is raised on ground water tank so the shape of raised on raised on ground water tank is also generally rectangle or the square and the last is elevated water tank so there are mainly six types of elevated water tanks but nowadays there are mainly three types of water tanks are in the market so our first type of elevated water tank is inch type of water tank so this is the inch type of water tank and you all know that there are two methods to support the inch tank water tank so first one is your water tank is supported by columns okay so your columns is also called as tray god and the second method is you have to support your water tank with the help of supporting shaft it means you have to constructed whole circular portion with the help of rcc construction so this is the main difference between the columns and the supporting shaft our second elevated water tank is circular overhead water tank and our last tank is rectangle overhead water tank so this already this types of water tank is already discussed in our last lecture after that we are discussing about the main five points which we have may attention why we have to design any water tank so you all know that water tank is a very important structure and in water tank we have to store water so whenever water is waves like this it pressure it takes pressure on the wall and the water pressure is very high okay so we have to design any water tank with the help of richer concrete mix okay so it may be generally m25 or m30 but whenever in your exam there is no any clarification regarding the grade of concrete so you have to assume the grade of concrete is m30 grade of concrete and after that we are discussing about other four main important points which may have to attention while we have to design any water tank after that we are discussing about five main permissible stresses in which four permissible stresses due to concrete two in tension and two in compression and after that we are discussing about the permissible stress in steel okay so in the later in this lecture we are discussing about some con design constant which is useful while we have to designing any water tank so in that design constant we have to use these four tables table number 1 2 and main 4 okay so this table value is useful in the later in this lecture after that we are discussing about the very most important theory of water tank which is the enlist and explain various types of joints in water tank this theory is asked in gtu in each and every paper 
whether it is regular or it is remedial paper so there are mainly three types of joints first one is moment joint second one is construction joint and last one is temporary open joint and in moment joint there are three types of joints are there first one is contraction joint second one is expansion joint and last one is sliding joint so now we are moving further to our contraction joints so students what is construction joints so a contraction joint is a typical moment joint accommodates the contraction of the concrete so you can see that in this figure this is your concrete and this is your steel okay and between this horizontal steel there will be one gap so if there are gaps are there it is called as discontinuity if your steel is continue it is called as continuity and if your steel is in continuous it is called as discontinuity so you can see that discontinuity in concrete but no initial gaps and this is our water bar okay so in contraction joint there are mainly two types of joints first one is complete contraction joint and second one is partial contraction joint now the joint may be either a complete or a partial contraction joint this both types of contraction joints is discussed in this figure okay so what is the difference in contraction joint and the partial contraction joints so you can see that in complete contraction joints it means in this figure both concrete and rcc means reinforcement steel are interrupted and in partial contraction joint only steel is interrupted but your steel is running through you can see that your steel is running over through it is continuous okay so this is the main type of joint which is the contraction joint in which there are two types of joint first one is complete contraction joint and second one is partial contraction joint okay after that we are moving further to our second type of joint which is expansion joint so expansion joint is intended to accommodate either expansion or contraction expansion means like this and contraction means like this compression and tension of the structure where a complete discontinuity in both steel and concrete are provided you can see that this is your steel which is incomplete and this is your concrete which is also incomplete discontinuity okay and this is your initial gap you can see that your initial gap so what is the value of initial gap so it is clearly mentioned that over here that an initial gap of about 30 mm is provided with or without water barrier and a portion of the joint is filled with the joint filler and water bar okay so this is water bar and this is joint filler okay so this is our second type of joint which is the expansion joint our third type of is joint is sliding joint so students in the sliding joint there is complete discontinuity in both concrete and steel you can see that this is only concrete this is only concrete there is no any steel over there so there is totally discontinuity in both the concrete and steel next point is the main feature are rubber pads okay so you can see that this is rubber pads are provided over here which facilitate relative movement in place of the joint third point is 
द जॉइंट इज सील्ड विथ जॉइंट सीलिंग सो दिस इज जॉइंट सीलिंग पोर्शन कंपाउंड एंड स्ट्रीप पेंटिंग इज डन सो दिस इज स्ट्रीप पेंटिंग ओके एंड अवर लास्ट पॉइंट इज दिस जॉइंट इज प्रोवाइडेड बिटवीन वॉल एंड फ्लोर इन सम सिलिंड्रिकल वॉटर टैंक डिजाइन ओनली सो दिस स्लाइडिंग जॉइंट इज प्रोवाइडेड इन सम सिलिंड्रिकल टैंक डिजाइन ओके सो दिस इज द मेन थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट ओके सो सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ जॉइंट इज कंस्ट्रक्शन जॉइंट सो इन कंस्ट्रक्शन जॉइंट दिस जॉइंट इज प्रोवाइडेड फॉर कन्वीनियंट इन कंस्ट्रक्शन it is subsequently continuity is restored so you can see that in this construction joint your steel is over continued so this is our main second type of joint and our last type of joint is temporary open joint okay so in temporary open joint it is clearly mentioned that a gap so this is your gap okay a gap temporary left between the concrete of adjoining pairs of a structure which after suitable interval and before the structure is put into use is filled with mortar or concrete either completely okay so this is called temporary open joint so you can see that in this figure this two vertical portions is called as joint surface this is your joint surface and this point is called as joint ceiling compound you can see that over here this is your joint ceiling compounds okay so this is our third type of the joints is temporary open joints after that our next theory is some design constants so students it is already discussed that whenever in your question it is not any clear mention about what is the grade of concrete so you have to use m30 grade of concrete now what is the value of permissible stresses so these five permissible stresses is already discussed in our last lecture so you can see that our sigma cbc so for sigma cbc this is our sigma cbc so what is the value for m30 the value is 10 next is sigma cc so the value of sigma cc is 8 your sigma st is 130 for fe415 your sigma C T is 1.5 and uh, your sigma C B T is 2. So this all the five components is over here. Okay. So this is your five design constants. After that, we are discussing about our modular ratio. So students, our modular ratios equation is always constant. So you have to make your in your mind that the equation of modular ratio is 280 divided by 3 into sigma cbc now 280 is constant 3 is also constant and sigma cbc so sigma cbc means permissible stress in concrete due to bending okay in compression so the value of sigma cbc is 10 as per is codal provision so if we have to put our sigma cbc value is equal to 10 then we will get our answer 9.33 so this modular ratio design constant is very most important while we have to calculate our design of water tank there are other four other design constants now we are moving further to our second design constants which is neutral axis so the equation of neutral axis is m into sigma cbc divided by m into sigma cbc plus sigma st so students 
if you have the value of m then you have value of k also because you can see that the value of m is 9.33 as per is codal provisions and for m 30 grade of concrete your sigma cbc is 10 your m is 9.33 your sigma cbc is 10 your sigma ht for fe415 is 130 okay so after putting all this value we will get our answer of k so this is our second design constant so students in the next lecture we are discussing about our, our other three design constants and after that we are discussing about our first type of example which is the ins tank okay so in ins tank you can see that this is your ins tank so components of ins tank is you can see that this is your ins tank in which this is top spherical dome this is top ring beam this is cylindrical portion this is middle ring beam this is conical dome this is bottom ring beam and this is supporting shaft but these components of ins water tank is also discussed in our next lecture this is only the reference of the ins tank type of water tanks figure okay so this is the end of today's session we will meet in the next week okay so thank you for today's session